Hey guys, it's DJ Wacky, and we're going to be unboxing another mystery box from Zavi. So I thought we'd have been bank holiday Monday. Most of us are enjoying a nice extended weekend off. So hopefully everybody's had a good time. It's been nice and warm out there as well. But um, Zavi has been delayed a couple of times with their Z boxes, which I'm not too pleased about. They've not sent out their March Z box, and it doesn't look like they're sending out the April Z box as well. But in order to get some Zavi content for my channel, I've gone ahead and purchased this mystery Marvel box. And as you can see on the label over there, it says V3. I don't know if I can zoom that in. There we go, V3. So this is the third version that they've done of this uh, Marvel mystery box, which I've never seen before. But basically at the moment, I'll get it on screen over here, it's £20 and you get £45 worth of items. But I have to say... I buy this for £15 because it was on a, a bit more of a sale and yeah, I just managed to get it up for a lot more cheaper price. It contains one exclusive Funko from the listing that it says, two mystery Marvel figures, one Marvel graphic uh, content and then one random Marvel item. So five items, £15, not bad. You have to pay £2 delivery as well, so I might put that in the price, but either way, that is still looking like a bargain in my eyes. So you, you pay that much anyway for a, um, a Z box. So you pay £17 if you're on the 12 month subscription. But without further ado, let's go ahead, unbox this, see what we get. As always, from Zave or any of mystery boxes, you get nice air bags or whatever. <laughs> I've got, I probably need to uh, keep them aside. They might be useful at some point. Let's have a feel. Of course, we're going to do prices at the end, guys, as well. So let's go for it. First item. What the hell is this? Green Goblin Metal Bottle Opener. What? That's mental. That's... So that's how the bottle opener looks like. Um, I, I don't know um, if it's going to ever be of news to me. I, I, I'll still say it's quite cool. Is it magnetic? Can you put this on? Yeah, it's magnetic, so you can actually stick it on the back of the fridge. All right, because of that, I'm going to give it three out of five stars because at least it will be there. It's nice little novelty novelty item, so I'm happy with that so far. But uh, it's going to be very situational when it's needed. Green Goblin over there to uh, unlock a bottle of pop for me. What, what, nothing gets sold in bottles these days, hardly. This is the graphic novel. I can feel it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead check out X Men Civil War. I've not heard of this series. Um, there's a I forgot what the YouTube. I think it's called Comics Explained. I've uh, I've listened to a couple of his things uh, where he explains. Um, he goes into great detail about Marvel Comics. Um, but I've never met. I never think I've seen a video of him mentioning Civil War. So there we go. Um, because obviously. It's a graphic novel. It's nice to read that aside, even to just for like getting some lore and history uh, behind Marvel series. I'm giving this three out of five stars as well. Um, at the end of the day, X Men's one of the more popular of all, you know, of all Marvel content out there. It could have been worse. I could have got some really, really basic, um, basic B Tech superhero, but X Men, not a bad series to follow through. My missus wants that uh, Starboy um, Marvel comics, which is featured around the weekend, so I have to check that. I heard that's quite pricey. Let's check this. Is this, a, this is going to be one of the figures. This is quite large. I'm going to need both my hands one second. Oh, sweet. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That is freaking awesome. So I've got Groot. I've got Eagle Moss Groot figure, and normally these are about four inches but this one is easily like double that size i don't know um exactly how tall he is but that is one huge group all right that is gonna have to be five out of five stars so this is um figures that ego moth has done a while back now um it does they do have quite a few listing on savvy i think they're uh, from top of my head about 15 pounds per uh, item as well but i'm gonna have to check out like i said the prices at the end but look at that, that is a very evil looking group. That is Groot, I'm quite, is it definitely Groot? It is, it definitely is Groot, like that. It just got a very demonic face, that's all. I don't know if you can tell over here, I'll probably get a picture on screen so you can see a bit more detail, but he looks quite demonic, so it kind of put me back over there. But that is absolutely freaking awesome. Like I'm really, really chuffed with that one because this is one of these items that I feel like I should maybe start collecting. Um, I've got 
currently Star Lord and uh, Gamora, so I've got Groot now. I just gonna need to get Rocket and uh, Drax, and then I've got the whole set for myself. Just gonna put this on the floor. Uh, so I'm actually really, really pleased with this box already, Zavi. So well played. Why don't they do this on their Z boxes? Like for the value that I paid, this is a lot better. Uh, next set I've gotten is an Iron Man figure, very classic looking Iron Man. Check that out, guys. That is again pretty neat. Like, okay, so when again it's Eagle Moss 2017, it says over here. Um, I was comes well to be honest, there's not really much else details to it, so I can probably do a bit of research into this thing. But Iron Man, check that out. Hopefully, you can see it more in detail over there. Again, I'll probably get a picture for you guys just so you can see a bit more what I, you know, what's it like unboxed. I am a big fan of Iron Man, but I'm a fan of old school looking Iron Man. I would have preferred the movie cinematic version of him, but I'm going to give it four out of five stars because it's still a good item. It's still useful. It's still one for the collectibles out there. And again, it's something that's got piqued my curiosity. So not a bad um not a bad overall figures, to be honest. I feel like I've got some two really good figures. And this is going to be the Funko Pop at the end. What is it? It's Iron Man again. It's a uh, special edition Marvel 80 Years Iron Man. What the hell is that? Why is he not coloured whatsoever? Is that his old school, like, full grey armour? There we go. That's a uh, Funko Pop Iron Man. Um... <sighs> I'm going to have to give this 4 out of 5 stars. It's not something that I would have added onto my collection personally. But because it's a special edition Funko Pop. And it's Iron Man. Again, it's a good item. This box, to be fair, guys, is absolutely fantastic. For the value that I'm paid for. And the items that I've got. Even though I've given one item 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I'm going to give the box overall 5 out of 5 stars. Look, at the end of the day, I paid £15 for it. And I've got all these items, or £17, like I said, delivery as well. But I've got five amazing items. You can't complain that with your with your money's worth as well. Maybe it's something that, you know, like the figure with the Iron Man and the Groot. Um, it's not something that I would have added onto my collection personally, but it's piqued my curiosity. I do have other, uh, other uh, Guardian of the Galaxy figures, so I might as well go ahead and complete them all now. It's given me uh, something to do now. Maybe I'll wait for more mystery boxes and see if I can actually get the collection complete. But for now, Zavi, if you did this more on your Z boxes, I'm guessing a lot of people will be more and more pleased because I've read the Z boxes reviews and there's a lot of disappointed, grunted people out there. And so far, the only thing that's let me down from Zavi is the experience that I've had as of recent. Because um, I want to cap off of that. The customer service is absolutely atrocious. Uh, when it comes to being delayed on Z boxes, it feels like you're speaking to uh, a, ro a robot sometimes, and someone with no, just told to do the base level of their jobs. And I'm like, I'm not try trying to show any disrespect, um, you know, because everyone at the end of the day has to make their living, etc. But they need better training because by far they just seem to be like ditching out basic excuses. If And even on their own website, it says if the Z box is going to be delayed, they'll notify us with an email. And the last two months, I've not got an email. I know somebody else has got a description, hasn't got an email as well. There's been poor communication from Zavi. So I'm happy I've got this. I would have rather seen this as one of my Z boxes. So I'm happy with that. I can rant on for a long time, but like I said, I am disappointed with Xavi recently, but this mystery box has definitely made it up. They do good stuff like this. I'm carrying, I'll am carrying. i be carrying on being one of their customers. They just need to be much, much more communicative and train their staffs a bit more so you know they can deal with these situations. Um, but for now, we'll go ahead, we'll get the prices tallied up, and we'll see what the box value comes out at the end. <laughs> So guys, I'm back after just checking out some of the prices on Google and uh, kicking it off with, uh, we've got a one very, very expensive bottle opener and nobody should be paying this price. But uh, coincidentally, the cheapest I actually buy, I found this it was on Zabi and it, at the moment it's £9, which I don't care what novelty it is, you don't pay £9 for a bottle opener. And if you want my pro tip, I've actually seen another ball opener, which is uh, Thanos uh, F Affinity uh, Gauntlet. Obviously, the glove where it contains all the Affinity Stones. That one's a lot more coloured, a lot more cooler, a lot more recognisable. 
and that's six pounds on Amazon. So if you want my pro tip and you're really after a Marvel ball opener, get that one. Avoid Green Goblin. Don't pay nine pounds for it. I refuse for anyone to buy that for nine pounds. Uh, moving on forward, guys, we've got is the uh, X Men comic book, which on the back of the comic book it said thirty dollars. Obviously, you can't find that cheap online, and I did. Um, and again, surprisingly, the cheapest is on Zavi. And at the moment of time for me doing this video, it is six pounds. And the reason why it's six pounds is because they got a discount on um, a discount code for comic books. So it's ten pounds. But if you get it at right now at the time of this video, um, you can get it fetch you up for six pounds. And to be fair, there's a lot of Civil War series out there. I need to check it more out myself. It's definitely uh, piqued my curiosity as well. Um, because you can get the Captain America Civil War, you can get the Iron Man Civil War, you can get the Spider-Man Civil War. But obviously I've got the X-Men one now. Um, I would have loved to get any of the other ones. Because um, in terms of X-Men, I'm not really that much a say of a movie fan. Logan was great. But all, all I know about X-Men is from movies, guys. Not any of the cartoons and all this stuff. Um, and that's really it, guys. For me, X-Men is one of my more, like... <laughs> It's lesser down there for me. I, I like the other superheroes a lot more, basically. Um, moving on forward, uh, we got the Eagle Moss figure. Like I said, that item I was really, really chuffed with. Um, and it is quite quite pricey, but I do consider eBay because you can get stuff uh, for a lot more, a lot better of a bargain on eBay. And right now, there's somebody selling it for £12. In fact, there's two people that are selling it for £12 as well. So they're private sellers. It's brand new conditioned as well. Uh, six and a half inches for anyone that is curiosity of its size um, the size matter that's what you gotta find out yourself because like i said the other eagle moss figures are four inches this one's six and a half um and i think it'll just display a lot more when you do unbox them all you got star lord gamora rocket is actually in a smaller version of rocket as well and then you can get drax it i think we've kept that aside as a collectible they're pretty cool um iron man is 10 pounds um and that's quite decent as well, but you can get new school looking Iron Man as well, which is, I would prefer that one. Um, but again, each to their own, that's the classic Iron Man, the classic comic book version of it. Can get the new school uh, Marvel Cinematic one, which I just think is just a lot more better out there. And then finally, we've got the Funko Pop. Um, and this one is again, 10 pounds on Amazon. Um, not Everywhere else it's advertising at 15 pounds, but you probably couldn't even find some of these cool Funko Pops in stores for a fiver because I know some uh, Funko Pops does now and then get on sale, especially ones that don't seem to, to seem to go out. It's not something I've spotted before. I, I have previously unboxed Marvel 80 Years um, editions Funko Pops on, uh, on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to do a YouTube short with unboxing this one, I reckon. So i got to love it because it's giving me two for one over here. I'm doing this video and I'm going to unbox this in a YouTube short later on. Hopefully, maybe some point this week, I'll get around to doing that as well. Uh, that gives us an overall value of the box at £47, by the way. So it did say RRP of £45 above. I think more than, definitely got my 100% my money's worth. Amazing items. Items that's piqued my curiosity. That's the main thing as well. Um, and also at the same time, I've got something to aim for with that uh, Eagle Moss figures. And if anything, I, the, the Funko Pop alone is quite cool to have as well. Like I love collecting Funko Pop, so for me to even get that exclusive special edition one, I'm really, really happy with. But that's it, guys. That's uh, that's uh, Zavi Marvel V3 special edition box unboxed. Hopefully <laughs> that makes all sense. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys are going to go ahead and purchase this box. That are... Like I said, a bit of delay at the moment, the Z boxes. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I just hope Zavi's a lot more communicative. I did kind of had a bit of a bash with the customer service uh, representatives. And I gotta say, even though some of the experience has been poor with some of the advisors, there's been other advisors that stepped up out there and given you a lot more information and gave you options as what to do as well. So I have to res I can't say it's all advisors because that'd be unfair of me to say I've just I have to say, as of recent, it's not been personally a great experience, but I can't say it's all Zavi advice that they are at the end of the day. They're just normal human beings like me and you. They're doing their job. I think, it like like I mentioned, it's just training. I'm a bit more communicative from them. I don't know how communicative Zavi is with their staff, but it seems like it's transpar transparent across to their customers, so hopefully that makes sense. I just didn't want to bash 
anybody personally. Um, so for <laughs> someone that's working in Zabi, I'm not having a go with you guys directly. Uh, just some people that I've had to deal with have not just been helpful. That's the truth of it. But hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Hopefully, you know, it's giving you an idea to what boxes you can aim for with Zavi because they've got a lot of special editions. They've got the DC, Marvel, um, some of the Mystery Z boxes in the past you can get hold of. The Woot boxes I've already done. There's a lot of boxes with Zavi and they just need to keep this up and they need to be consistent as well. They'll be consistent by far. I feel like they're probably going to end up being the best for mystery boxes for geeks and gamers out there across all of UK. Like that, That is probably where they can go and get their name on if they'll carry on doing these sort of content. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully appreciate the video. Don't forget to like. If you want to come aboard, hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see more people on board. Competition still open up. You can check that information out on my Z-Box videos. And as always, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace. It, for some weird reason... It looks like a very B Tech version of Legolas. Like I don't know, I don't think they um, they modeled the face quite well.